Okay, so we are on problem number four, and you are gonna learn how to create a table. So step one says insert a two by five table. So I'm gonna come up here where it says insert, and I'm gonna go to table, and I'm gonna change it to a two by five. Now it inserts it really big, so I'm gonna go ahead and just move it over by clicking the three dots right here on the left and dragging it. And then I'm gonna go where it shows all four arrows and I'm gonna drag that down just so that it's inside my box of your turn. Okay, uh, step two, fill in the table with the points X, Y, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, 6, and 3, 8. So X is my first coordinate. So in my first column, this is gonna be X. And the second column is gonna be my Y coordinate, which is Y. I'm gonna do the same for my points. This is 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, 6, and 3, 8. All right, step three, change the width to 2 inches and the height to 2 and a half inches, so 2.5 inches. I'm going to highlight my table by just clicking. I'm just going to click it right here. And uh, if you remember from the rectangle, when we change the size, we go to Format Options. Here, my arrow is uh, down for size and rotation. If it looks like this, then you need to click it. I can see the width. Now I need to change the width to two inches, so I'm gonna type two. And then my height needs to change to 2.5, so I'm gonna type 2.5. Okay, I'm done with the changing the size, so I, I can uh, close format options. Now, uh, step four change the border weight to 4px. Okay, I'm gonna click on my table again, and I am going to change the border. So I want, right now my border's really thin, so I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna look where it says border weight, and that's gonna change it. Here it's really thin. I wanna make it thicker, so I'm gonna go to 4px. When I click that, you can see it has got a lot thicker, okay? Step five, change the border color to black. So again, I'm gonna click on my table and I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna change the border color. So you can see it was right next to border weight. Here's border color, wants me to change it to black. All right, step six, fill in the top two boxes with the color gray. So I want these top two boxes to be gray. So I'm gonna highlight them, and I am going to go up to, again, back up to fill color, and I'm gonna change it to gray. Now here I have dark gray, dark gray two, dark gray. I'm just gonna go to where it says gray. Okay, and I'm gonna click that. And you can see that they have now changed to gray. Okay, and step seven, align the table in the center and middle the text. So we have learned how to align. You saw that with the text earlier. So I'm gonna click my table. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna align it in the center. So you can see my points have gone to the center, but now it says middle the text. So if you look at my table, you can see that my points are up a little bit higher to the top than the bottom. I want them to be completely centered in that box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up here to align, and you can see right here, this right here is to align them in the middle. So if I click that, it brings them down a little bit so that they are perfectly in the middle of those boxes. Okay, that was step seven, so that's it for number four. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit, and that's it.